Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing day 26 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's challenge. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I I ran about six, seven miles today. Um, not all easy, some some easy, some a little bit harder. Uh, just trying to get my heart rate up and all these things. So yeah. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. I just took a shower uh, and I, w I was watching the next game the entire way. Uh, go next. They finally won one, which is always kind of nice um, when your team wins one game, at least. Uh, it was such a frustrating game, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. We have 15... Uh, I can't even read, apparently. 1857 largest color by unit directed graph. Okay. <clears throat> what does that mean? All right. We have directed graph. Color and no and color notes and M edges. Okay, so it's not a tree unless you know, I mean it could be a tree, but it's not. Oh, uh, um, it's not a constraint. Alright, you're given colors. I co you're given colors okay. because of I is represented color uh, and edges. Okay, I mean you have an, uh, you have colors of the note and a, and a, and an edges edgeless. I don't know. A valid path is okay. No such that there's a director. Edge from X to the, the, the for every one, uh, for every color. Such that there's a where, where's the color coming in? Uh, the color value of the path is the number of colors that are colored, that are colored the most frequently occurring. Okay, return the largest color value of any valid path in the graph. Uh, any valid path in the given graph or minus one in the graph contains a cycle. Largest color value. The color value of the. What does that even mean? The number of notes that are colored the most frequently. I see, I see. Um, okay. I see, I see. So it is basically the most common thing. Okay. Um. <sighs> I, I am thinking about different ideas. I mean, this is going to be uh, uh, what you might call it. I mean, first we have to de determine if there are any cycles. That's fine. We, we have the cycle algorithm, right? Um, and then. Um, What is the cycle algorithm? I mean, I guess the coloring, right? Which is actually kind of confusing because this is whatever. All right, so we could find a cycle. And then afterwards, um, I'm just trying to think, can you do this in one depth first search or can you just, you know, just do it for every color, right? Like there's only almost 26 colors. We could do it for every color and then get the longest path in the DAG. If it's not a cycle, then it's a DAG, right? And then you could get the longest path in the DAG. Um, and I'm trying to think whether you can, you have to do it like 26 times N is a little bit on the tight side, to be honest. Um, 2.6 million, uh, but, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a good intuition about this. Uh, for, for now, uh, all right, let, let's just set up the adjacency list, first of all, uh, and N is equal to length of colors. Um, uh, also, uh, last of, uh, The Last of Us is today, I think, or like it just aired like an hour ago or something. Let me know in the comments what do you think about today's episode. Uh, I'm not going to read it until after I watch it, though, so <laughs> no spo uh, not too much spoilers. Just let me know how you feel. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just determine there's a cycle. Okay, if the, let's say we do, there are no cycles, then it's a DAG, right? Then how do you want to solve it? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. there are a lot of ways, but they're all kind of similar. Uh, the way that I'm thinking about it, it's all uh, alpha times n, where alpha is the number of d distinct colors, which is... Um, uh, 
I don't know. Just uh, not great, I suppose. But, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I guess we could also do a top logical sort, right? Is that the thing? Um, I guess we have to anyway, because uh, to get, um, yeah, right? To get the top, right? So in degree, oh, it's equal to do, 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 times n, right? And then now, uh, oh, I don't know why I, <laughs> clearly uh, I'm, I'm a little bit mistaken because it's only from u to v. Um, I'm, I guess I just, I was just so used to writing it that way. Uh, okay, right, and then now, uh, so we can do the cycle this way as well. We can do the color things, but um, f for i in range of n in uh, if in degree of i is equal to zero, then q dot append i, right? Um, yeah, and then while length of q is greater than zero, uh, so the current node is going to be equal to um q dot pop left i'm also i mean i'm trying to set this up i guess this is a topological sort am i doing topological sorts should i be doing what am i doing i'm trying to think what the longest path could be I guess yeah. I guess it is the topological sort because uh, it's not it's not quite a topological sort, but the idea here is that when you have nothing else dependent on you, then then the uh, the current state is going to be the most anyway, right? In that like the cur current node that you're looking at, if there's no more things that could get to your way, then you're set. You can update it because. There's no other paths to the current node, right? Okay, fine. Um, and then now let's just say we have distances. So it's going to be... Do, 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 do. You want to write something like this, but it's not that. Uh, it's this times 26. Do, 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 right? Something like that, right? So it's n times 26. Uh, and it's not... Uh, I guess 0 is fine. Um, right? And then now we want to update all the down 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 tracks. So for v in agency list of current, um, we want to say in degree of v subtract one. If in degree of v is equal to zero, then we um, we we put it in, right? Um, so there's that. But then we also want to update the distances, right? In that case, or in either case. Um, and it is just going to be um, I mean this part is should, is not hard. I'm just trying to think what is the better base case like would we consider the color of the notes when we add them or before we add them right? I guess we should just do it when we add them. So it's going to be uh, distance no because then, you have to do it when you set it up, do you? Uh, no, it's fine. I see, I see. Okay, fine. I, I see, I see. Okay. So then now we do something like do, 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 not n, uh, 26. Let's call this a for alpha. Um, distances sub i is uh, of uh, current sub i is just equal to max of distances of oh no no, no not i whoops this is for v i uh, well it's just gonna be that has not changed or distances of um, uh, what you might call it current i right. The only diff 
friends is that um, there's a plus one Oh, I can't. I mean, I, I I was gonna write something like distances of v of uh, was it colors of i or colors of v. I mean, it's not quite that but plus one. But the reason why I can't do that is because this would happen every time we relax. So that's why I I was like I I, I remember that why I couldn't do it. Uh, so that means that instead you have to write something like um, if i is equal to colors of v. I mean, that's not quite right. It's actually this minus uh, do, 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 right. No. If this is the case, then we actually take this. Uh, plus one. <clears throat> Else, then you just take that and you should be good. Um, and then that means that um, here we need to set up uh, distances of um, I of C equals to one where c is equal to color sub uh, i minus this thing. I'm going to, have to use the ordinate value. Um, okay, yeah. And, and we have to make sure that we relax all the nodes. So basically, maybe if any um, x is greater than zero for x in in degree that means that if any of these is non-zero then we actually return negative one otherwise then we just return the max of everything in distances right and i think that should be good so we max of distances sub i uh okay right oh, let's just use this So max of this and then max of this over the best and that's it. Uh, all right, maybe, hopefully. Uh, ooh, I mean, this seems like an easy fix relatively. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, not easy enough apparently. Okay. Well, I fifteen. Q is. I, what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I, I don't even. Maybe I was thinking of a JSON C list when I was writing that, because that's clearly not right. All right. Uh, I mean, these test cases are kind of crappy, so it doesn't give me that much more confidence. But I am going to YOLO submit because it's Sunday night and I want to watch The Last of Us. And yes, it is good. It's a little bit tough because you have to kind of. Uh, because 2.6 million is a little bit on the higher side than I would like. So I'm not that super confident about the running time. But yeah, but each node is the, the n nodes and we only pop them all once, right? So that's going to be O of n loops. And each of those loops, I mean, the edges is, is, is just going to be O of m, right? So if you have O of v plus O of y because all the edges we only pop once, uh, but times O of a, right? So... So this is actually going to be um, my 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 boss is being funky. Uh, o of v plus y log uh, times a time, right? Because for each edge, we update um, twenty six things, and then at the end, we just do like a a loop over uh, v times a. Though I guess you could always say that we we need to do v time a in just setting up the memory anyway, right? So yeah, um, that is all I have for this one. So you could even abbreviate this as uh, combining this, of course, as uh, O of V times A plus G times A. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Um, is that it? Uh, let me explain this a little bit more because uh, I think I, I didn't know, or I wasn't sure about it when I was writing it, so I don't think I explained it that well. Um, so basically what I did is, it, it's not quite top logical sorting, though you could kind of see it that way, in that, um, well, it's just not. But the reason why it is very similar to top logical sorting is that we keep on taking a node that has no more uh, in degree, right? Meaning that if you've 
if you do understand topological sort, that means that you don't have any nodes pointing to it anymore. And that means that in a like if you really if you consider it like dynamic programming, and this is actually a thing that is a thing in dynamic programming, though not sometimes not quite written this way, um, and not explicitly, but sometimes implicitly, is that the way in with dynamic programming is that uh, there is a way to write it such that on bottom up, you're updating a node when there are no more future updates coming in, right? And this is basically that idea, um, except for this topological sorting idea, of that if there's an in degree and there's nothing else coming into this node anymore, then you can process it because nothing else can change the answer to this node anymore, right? Um, and that's basically it. So I would say this is dynamic programming in that way. Um, you can think of it also with a, a topological sorting, though, of course. Uh, um, I mean, of course, there's also a lot of similarities between dynamic programming and topological sort, right? Because, of course, uh, dynamic programming is only uh, only works in a DAG, right? Um, because if you have a cycle, then, well, you, you can dynamic program uh, because, well, you just have a cycle. But, um, and also there are two ways to do dynamic programming. Well, I mean, not two ways, but, you know, like two... Um, directions, right? Same as topological sort, and they both have corollaries, right? Recursion uh, with the uh, recursion and also bottoms up, so, and both has similar ways to do it with topological sort. You probably could do that with topological sort here too, right? So the way that I did it is like this, but you can also just go top down and just fetch all the dependencies. The only thing that's a little bit, um, I don't know, I don't like write, writing it when there are cycles that way, but it's also not that hard. You just have to add like one extra flag. So maybe I'm, I don't dislike it. I'm just lazy. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, go next. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.